and let's come back and start your 2017 paper. So in 2017 paper, let's read the question again. Uh, draw the structures of the following. Okay, as I said, every question paper, they will give you draw the structures and reasoning questions. Please, that is the reason I've done so many videos with the structures and reasoning questions. Go through all the videos. So they've given us to draw the structure of H2SO3, which I did in video number 99, and HClO3, which I did in video number 100. Done. Oxacids of sulfur and chlorine. That is your halogen. And they've given us one more question. Give reasons for the following. Red phosphorus is less reactive than white phosphorus. Okay. I thought you one. I've given you one differences between red phosphorus and white phosphorus. Now they're asking you to write in one word. How to write? <coughs> Basically, when I speak about red phosphorus, it is less reactive. They said. What is the structure of red phosphorus? Red phosphorus basically is a polymeric structure. Go through that video where I've shown you the structure of red phosphorus. The P4 units, one P4 unit is again linked with one more. In this way, they form polymeric units, right? So the main reason red phosphorus has polymeric P4 units done so when it is linked one after the other it is obviously less reactive isn't it we require more energy to break it so if the bond dissociation energy is less then only it is reactive but here because of the polymeric p4 units <coughs> it is less reactive and when it is white phosphorus white phosphorus why is it more reactive in white phosphorus you have only one tetrahedral unit so that tetrahedral unit is discrete it is fixed and arranged so right now red phosphorus has polymeric means many units linked together red phosphorus is tetrahedral discrete structure discrete <coughs> uh, molecule or discrete unit that is would be better because I wrote unit also here. That's it. Because of this structure, red phosphorus is less reactive than white phosphorus. And next important thing, they've given is electron gain in thalpies of halogens. I've already did this video in video number 88. And the next one more question, N2O5 is more acidic than N2O3. This video, I did it in video number 11. Please watch the video for the required information.